What is up guys? It's Kelly from Muddy Beards 4x4. Today we'll be talking about one of the coolest grease gun adapters that you might not have ever heard of. So this is just a needle, really, you know, like a syringe uh, that you can put on the end of your grease gun. You basically just unscrew the tip a little bit so you can put it in there and tighten it up and you are good to go. I got this thing at probably O'Reilly's three or four years ago. I forgot how much they are. I think they're just like four or five dollars. I'll put a link in the description below to uh, something comparable on Amazon. So let's go ahead and show you what you can do with one of these. So the main reason I bought this thing three or four years ago was my front drive line in my TJ was making a lot of noise. Rotational, it was squeaking literally every rotation. As soon as they get a little bit of dust in it, it would just squeak so bad. My double carton joint was going bad. And in order to get grease inside of there, I was actually able to get grease in there with this needle uh, adapter. It's really tough. You're going I'm taking a shot here, but right up in here, there's basically uh, kind of a ball and socket with some needle bearings. I was able to get this needle up inside of there just enough to squeeze a little bit of grease in there so as soon as it would rotate it would stop squeaking so I was able to do that like every two trips I would go and I'd have to get up in there without taking the whole drive line out you guys with the TJ's know that it's a pain to take those front drive lines out you gotta take the uh, the skid plate off uh, it's just a big pain so I was able to get up in there and just squirt a little bit of grease in there with this needle and I didn't have to uh, grease, I greased it like maybe every two trips. It would start making noise again. And now I got all brand new drive lines. Tom Woods in the front, and then my local Fleet Pride uh, built my rear drive shaft, which is kind of a custom one. So you also can use it for the splines in the drive shaft itself. You know, where it splines together the two sides where they slip in and out. Like my rear, you can see right here, my adapter for my grease gun is kind of beat up and it doesn't really get grease in there so I pop that little dust cover off and I can squirt grease in there with this needle as well. You can poke a hole in your boot to get a little grease in your tie rods or your ball joints. I wouldn't really recommend that because you're going to be creating an issue in the future, premature failure of that boot because now it has a hole in it. Although very small, it could lead to a failure in the, year, in the future. So if you want to, you can pop pop it into that grease boot and put some grease in there um, but those grease adapters are on the bottom so it actually is supposed to come up from inside and uh, grease it from the inside into the boot so I don't really know how much it actually will do for you to throw grease in there but if it makes you feel better go for it another thing that you can do with this uh, needle here is sealed bearings now this is one out of a power steering pump that I've taken apart. I'm actually making a video of that right now. The difference between the TJ and the WJ pump, I have them fully apart. You can actually stick this in between here, in between that rubber, and grease up a sealed bearing if you so choose. Just like that, squeeze some grease in there, and you got yourself a greased uh, sealed bearing. One of the main reasons I got this thing out is because I wanted to see if I could pack this inside bearing on my hub without taking the seal out. And so we're gonna give it a try. Just kind of getting it in between the roller bearings and the cage. You can kind of feel where they are because I can't put it in right there and then it slides in right there. It's gonna take a little bit of time but I can see that there's some grease pushing down out the bottom which means that grease is getting in there and it's starting to come up out of the top here so this is working it's just going to take a little bit of time which is fine another tip for you guys make sure that you don't mix your grease types now I'm not a science guy I don't know exactly why I know that different grease have different bases different temperatures and the and the heat and melt to different temperatures so greases are different for better for different things so if you're a grease guru out there, give me a comment below. Let me know why you can't use uh, mixed greases. So once I get that packed, it's actually a lot better now. Clean it up, and then I'm actually going to pack this front bearing 
just regular like I normally would, and then I'm gonna reinstall it back on, the, on my Jeep. So there's lots of different uses for this. Go ahead and give me some comments below what you use it for, or if you haven't bought it yet, go ahead and go buy one and play around with it find stuff to grease and let me know what you're using it for. Thanks guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, leave some comments down below. Check us out on Instagram, we post pictures, have uh, giveaways, stuff like that. I'm also gonna be going to King of the Hammers this year and make sure you head over there and follow us and uh, follow along with our trip and everything that we got going on there at King of the Hammers. And we'll see you on the trail.